Hello, my name's Catherine Yates and I'm the Year 7 Manager at Heart of England School. I've worked at this school now for this, in fact, I'm just coming to the end of my 17th year here. So I think you'll take from that that it's a nice place to work and it's a nice place for students to come as well. I've been in my current role for just over five years and I have to say working with year sixes coming into our school and then carrying on helping them as they settle in, um, supporting them as they make that transition is my favourite job here. Um, I'm at the moment, um, as I'm sure you're aware, in the process of contacting all the primary schools, uh, speaking to the teachers to find out what we need to know about your children and also having teams meetings with the children such that they have that familiar face for when they join. Um, I can explain some of the processes for when they come but as I've said to them they don't need to rem remember it all now. Everything will be gone through again when they come in September and I've been able to answer the questions that they've had. So far I've been in touch with 21 different schools and had the pleasure of speaking to over 190 students. I will carry on, um, I haven't spoken to everybody yet but I will, I will carry on next week and hopefully finish off all those meetings then. I've been able to explain to them really that our school is a lot like theirs. Um, we have teachers, we have lessons, we have a behaviour policy, uniform, break times, there's lots of people for them to make friends with and there's the support there if they need it. Um, obviously the differences are that they'll be moving around classrooms. Uh, I know some of them are worried about getting lost. Uh, I will be filming a short tour of the school, both for you and your children, to have a look at some of the key places as I'm fully aware that some of you haven't been able to come into the school due to the restrictions over the last 18 months. Um, the biggest benefit to them, I think, is the opportunities here. The different clubs, the um, larger facilities in terms of technology and music, PE, science, and I know lots of them are looking forward to that opportunity. Um, part of my work will be putting them into a teaching group. There will be eight teaching groups in year seven. Um, this year, the system will work such that the teaching group will also be their tutor group. So when they come in in the morning, for example, if they are in teaching group P, they will also be in form group P and they will have their tutor in the mornings who acts a little bit like their class teacher at primary. They are the first point of contact, both for the students and for you. So if you have any problems, please get in touch with the tutor. We'll be providing the information of who the tutor is later this term or right at the start of next term and you'll have the opportunity to meet that tutor so you can start building that relationship um, such that if you have any issues or if your child has any issues you've got a person to contact straight away. Um, just to let you know that in each um, teaching tutor group um, there'll be some students from each house. I'm sure you're aware that the students wear ties with a house colour on, um, so I will be letting you know that before the end of term as well, so you can purchase the uniform. One thing I did want to mention was next year the languages that will be studied are either French or German. I don't tend to ask um, the children which one they want to do, partly because if 200 of them said French, I would have to let people down. And I, d I don't want to do it that way around, but if there is a compelling reason why your child should study one language rather than the other, then please get in touch with me. So now I wanted to talk about a few practicalities, really. Um, we will be sending out the handbook towards the end of next week, together with an admissions form. That's the key detail we need, who to contact, um, whether there's any medical issues, and the space on that form to put down anything else that you think we should know before your child joins us. I've heard from some of you via email or phone call, and um, I'm happy for you to carry on doing that, um, such that we have all the information we need to fully support your child when they join. So as I've been explaining to the children, 
Friday the 3rd of September will there be their first day in school and it will actually be their transition day as well. So we will show them absolutely everything they need to know. Where to buy their food, where to eat their food, where to come in in the mornings, where to wait for the bus if they're collecting the bus, uh, where their tutor room will be, um, where to meet their friends. And obviously we'll also be explaining how to find their way around the school, which is a lot simpler than um, they will believe at the moment, I think. Um, in the handbook, and the information will go on the website as well, there'll be information about uniform. We operate parent pay here, We're cash, we are a cashless school. I know many of you will be familiar with that. Transport information will go out as well and explain how you can order a bus pass if your child will be coming on the bus. And also we'll send you some information about Insight, but I did just want to mention that now as well. It's part of our communication process. Obviously we use the website and it's useful for you to keep checking back there as well. We use parent mail, so if you can make sure that we've got your up-to-date email when you return the admissions forms. Um, but also Insight is a computer system program where you, you will have a login and your child will have a login. These will be sent early in the autumn term. It's a great way for you to be able to communicate with your tutor, teachers of your child, um, obviously they're going to have numerous teachers and you know I remember when my children were at school as well trying to remember the names of all the different teachers for the different children um, I didn't manage if I'm honest so having that there where you can just click on it and it will go to the right person I think you will find really useful obviously you've got my contact details as well um, but insight as well all homework goes on there for the children and I've explained this to them such they don't have to worry about writing it down, wondering when it's due in, it's all there for them. And I've advised them to check insight every night, see if they've got any homework, even if there's only a little bit, do it that night. Homework is very manageable for them so long as they don't let it build up. Um, it will help them to be organised but I know you'll be supporting them with that as well. Um, and I've also said pack your bag the night before, look at Insight, your timetable is on there, see what you need for the next day. Um, I, my children are older now but I have memories of searching for a history book when they're trying to get out of the house with a minute to go. Um, so if they can start those good habits now that would be great. Um, they are wearing ties. Um, any practice with doing ties over the summer would be um, much appreciated. I know some of them wear ties already, um, but, but it's something else that if they are confident with, it will help them when they're getting changed from PE. Um, finally, I'd just like to say, I probably haven't managed to cover absolutely everything in this talk. There are going to be some other talks. Um, there will. Um, you will have already seen the one yesterday from our principal, Miss Hughes-Williams. Mr Bennett, Vice Principal, will also be recording a message to you with more information. And for those of you who have students with a diagnosed SEN need, then there will also be some information on SEN and what we do here. Um, above all, please get in touch if you have any concerns, you want to discuss anything with me, or if I can pass on your queries, say to our Senko, um, please don't hesitate. Um, if you could encourage your children to try some of these challenges that are on the website this week, that would be great. I have promised merits for those who enter, um, which I'll put on for September, which is part of our reward system. Um, I feel very strongly about acknowledging the successes of our students. So many of them come here and are are just brilliant. I spoke to some this morning and I have actually barely seen them because they have come and they have just flown and they've they've just been so independent, so proactive, so well behaved and and, and a, a real credit to the school and their families and I know lots of your children will come and do the same but please be assured, if some find it a bit harder, that's our job to support them such that they can make good progress 
and be very happy here. So thank you for listening to this and I look forward to um, working with you next year.